So this specimen that you see here is the Chiananthus virginicus, the white fringe tree. Um, this one's in the Oleaceae family, so it's in the family with the olives. Um, and it's hardiness zones four to nine. So a little bit hardier up north. Um, this is a great flowering tree for the landscape. As you can see right now in March, um, it's almost in full flower. It's got these white fringy sort of flowers, which is how it gets its common name, um, with a multitude of little white strap-like petals. Uh, this is going to be one of your trees that's dioecious, so there's separate male and female plants. Um, and for the most part, the males have showier flowers, but the females will get a really nice blue fruit, which can be a bird attractant if you're interested in attracting wildlife to your yard. Um, this is one that's going to be native to the southeast. We're in the Arboretum, so um, of course it's going to be native to Alabama. Um, and oftentimes you'll see it like you see here with this multi-stemmed trunk um, or limbed up into a small tree. Um, but it's always going to stay pretty small, around 15 to 20 feet in height working in the landscape. Um, the leaf arrangement is opposite, so two leaves per node. Um, and the leaf that itself is pretty boring. It's uh, six inches in its mature length, uh, entire margins, totally green. But something that's a really good ID feature for the Chiananthus is that if you look at the base of the petiole, um, you can see that there's a dark purple blotch. So looking for that is going to be really key when you're trying to identify this when it doesn't have flowers on it. Um, sun to part shade is going to be best. This one is a tree that's not very drought tolerant. So if you have a dry, sunny area or you're going through a hot summer period of drought, um, supplemental water might be necessary. But um, overall, it's a really good plant. It is difficult to transplant. So if you're going to buy this one, I recommend buying it in a container at a small size, um, transplanting it to your landscape and then letting it grow up to a mature size and not just buying a large size and immediately putting it in your yard. Um, but overall, look for the bloom time right now. They look wonderful um, with these hazy sort of white fringy blooms. Look for that entire leaf margin, opposite arrangement with that dark purple blotch, and that'll let you know that this is their Chiananthus virginicus, your white fringe tree.